a mosquito-borne illness is spreading rapidly across southern China, especially in Guangdong province, where over 7,000 infections have been recorded since late June. Fushun City has seen the highest number of cases. Patients there are being kept in hospitals, under mosquito nets, and must stay for at least a week, or until they test negative. The illness, chikungunya, is transmitted by the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which also carries dengue and Zika virus. Symptoms include high fever and intense joint pain, which may linger for months. The World Health Organization has issued alerts following the outbreak, and Chinese health authorities have rolled out emergency control measures, similar to those used during COVID-19. In response, China is deploying drones to detect mosquito breeding grounds and releasing larger elephant mosquitoes, whose larvae feed on the virus-scarrying species. Though chikungunya is rare in China, it is common in South Asia, Southeast Asia, and parts of Africa. Experts say climate change may be contributing to its spread by creating warmer, wetter conditions. According to European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control ECDC, over 240,000 infections and 90 deaths have been reported globally this year across 16 countries, including areas in Asia, Africa, Europe and Latin America. Hong Kong confirmed its first case in six years. A 12-year-old boy who visited Foshan and returned with fever, rash and joint pain. Chikungunya spreads when an infected mosquito bites a healthy person, injecting the virus into their bloodstream. If a non-infected mosquito bites someone who is already infected, it can become a new carrier. Symptoms are similar to dengue fever and Zika, including fever, severe joint pain, muscle aches, headache, fatigue, nausea, and rash. There is no vaccine or cure, but most people recover. However, the elderly, newborns, and those with pre-existing health conditions, such as heart disease or diabetes, face a higher risk of complications. Health officials stress the virus cannot spread directly from person to person, only through mosquito bites. Travel advisories urge visitors to protect themselves, especially during daylight hours when AED's mosquitoes are most active. That's all for now from Global Pulse Unplugged. Stay sharp, stay informed, and we'll see you next time.